Greetings and salutations, everyone. The leader of the Dark Spear tribe and once war chief of the Horde. Vol'jin is a beloved character whose life was cut short against the Burning Legion in the battle on the Broken Shore. War chief! Very, very cut short. However, death was not his total end. In the events that took place in Battle for Azeroth, his soul returned to guide Princess Talanji in defeating the false old god known as Gahoon and the traitorous Prophet Zul. He also went on to uncover the mystery on who had forced him to name Sylvanas Windrunner the War Chief of the Horde, but would not find the answers he was looking for. Today, we'll finally get to those answers and uncover that mystery. We will also talk about what awaits our favorite Dark Spear Chieftain afterwards. You know the deal. As always, this video will contain spoilers for the Ardenwild campaign and potentially the very future patches of Shadowlands and beyond. So, let's get this started. Mozala, an ancient powerful Loa of Death and operative of the Jailer, managed to capture his underling Bonsamdi, demanding he give all the troll souls he's collected over the years, as was their arrangement. Bonsamdi denies him and manages to get the aid of the heroes from the Alliance and Horde to collect his mojo from his various business associates. Once that power was returned to the Loa of Graves, he would use it to bind Muzala and proclaim himself as the new boss of the other side. After this incident, Bonsamdi would call on Vol'jin to join him at his necropolis, as to tell the truth that Muzala was the very being and entity who forced him into making Sylvanas the war chief of the Horde, as well as other things. There have been quite a few wild gods that Mozala had sent to the Ma for refusing to join him, so it became Vol'jin's mission to save them from their fate, along with the Ma Walker. In the Ma, they would find Ashamane, one of the wild gods that was slain during the War of the Ancients, Hyreek, who was corrupted by Cahoon and slain during the Fourth War, Shadra, who was sacrificed by her own priestess Yasma for power, and lastly, Razan, the Low of Kings, who was ultimately destroyed by Prophet Zul, and whose body was used for a time for the Zandalari's own ends. While the Ma Walker was successful in saving Ashamane, Hyreek, and Shadra, Razan would not be so fortunate, as he had been tortured beyond saving by the Jailer's Ma Sworn. Razan, with his last strength, would gift to Vol'jin his essence, recognizing the troll's spirit for his sense of justice. While Vol'jin initially would protest against Razan's wishes, he would eventually accept his gift, promising that it wouldn't be wasted and would remember the mighty Loa for all that he was. They would take the souls back to the Winter Queen, where they would be reborn one day through their wild seeds. And Vol'jin too asked to be reborn into something new, as Razan's power was now residing within him, so he too could carry on as a Loa or Wild God, possibly. Though what he would become would be uncertain even for the Winter Queen to discern. This is the last time we see Vol'jin for the moment. Alright, so let's speculate on what might become of old Vol'jin. For many of us, we were disappointed to see Vol'jin's journey end so soon just right after his successful rebellion against Garrosh Hellscream, and his new role as the War Chief of the Horde. In fact, he hardly got to do anything with that position, and his death was utterly just disappointing in itself. But ever since his return as a spirit and Zalazan's proclamation of Vol'jin's power, it's been very apparent that Vol'jin was on the road to becoming a Loa, or at the very least, something like it. And here we have Razan, the very Loa of Kings, and once the very Loa that Rastakhan and Talanji would call upon, would gift Vol'jin his power as well. 
the most logical choice would be for Vol'jin, once a leader himself, to become the new Loa of Kings. As already, Talanji was a big fan of the Dark Spear Chieftain when she was little and was taking his advice with no problems whatsoever during the Gahoon Crisis. Now, this could be problematic, actually, as Buon Samdi, ever since the end of Shadows Rising, was given this title of the Blow of Kings. After all of his efforts of trying to keep the Zandalari and the hierarchy alive, we could very well see the two fight for the title, which would lead to disaster. But given that Buon Samdi is no longer the second potato to Mazala as the Law of Death, this could mean that Buon Samdi will drop the title of Loa Kings as there is a proper replacement now, now that the Razan's essence has been moved on to another. It also helps that Vol'jin and Buon Samdi actually got along pretty well in life. They were bros, they were homies, you know, Buon Samdi and Vol'jin liked each other and that could help you know, their relationship as a whole, um, as both Wild Gods or as Loa, whatever Vol'jin's gonna be. It could also be that Buon Samdi remain as Talanji's main Loa, but Vol'jin will take on the task of aiding the crown or tending to the dead kings of old. We've seen already that Talanji has no trouble on asking for aid of the other Loas beyond just Buon Samdi. I'd imagine that Vol'jin, regardless of what his station is as a Loa or whatever, if he still retains much of who he is during his rebirth, then he'll be doing what he can to aid the Dark Spears and the Horde. That takes me to my next point, what will Vol'jin be as a Loa or whatever he comes out as? Will he be similar to Buon Samdi or Zanza, where he appears as a troll to some form, or will he take on a more Devil Sword like appearance like his predecessor, Razan? Or will he be able to swap between both at will? Ultimately, we won't really know till he hatches, but this does present the possibility and obvious outcome of him returning back to Azeroth in some shape or form. And depending on what form he could return as, he could return to rolling or aiding the Horde, possibly. I doubt he'd return as Warchief, but if he physically returns and appears as a troll, there's potentially the chance he could take back his title as Darkspear Chieftain from Rokan. And could you imagine that? Vol'jin, basically a god within the Horde. That might actually up the ante of the entire faction and its leaders, considering that the council and the poor leaders in general are just mainly just warriors and hunters. And while the Trolls, Pandaren, and even the Night Elves have always had Wild Gods to call upon to aid them, Vol'jin would be an entirely new player, as he has biases to not only the Dark Spears, but also the Horde entirely. So it definitely would be in his character to fully support the Horde in its defenses or offenses, depending on the situation. And sure, maybe he'll stick to only helping out when it's absolutely necessary or when it only pertains to his role as Low of Kings, again, if that's his designated spot or title. But I do think Vol'jin will definitely be one of the most biased wild gods to a faction ever, honestly. This would also pose the possibility of Vol'jin being able to reunite and interact with old friends like Thrall, Rexar, Bane, Tirith and Kort, Rokan, and etc. again. Those sorts of interactions that I've been craving for all throughout Shadowlands, it'd be extremely nice for them all to catch up. Now do I want him to come back as the leader of the Dark Spears? Personally, I think we should let Rokan have a swing at it first, and if things go poorly and there's nobody else to take up that mantle again, then throw it back to Vol'jin, I guess. But really, just leave the trolls alone. Just please, they've been through enough already, especially the Dark Spears. Oh boy, took us ages to finally get a new leader. I don't, I don't think I'd want Rokan to suffer a similar or worse fate. Ultimately, I think it'd be better to just have Vol'jin be a god, similar to Buon Samdi in a lot of ways, who wholly supports the Horde and shows up when death goes going for the faction. 
Ultimately, Vol'jin has so many routes that he can go on once he's out from that wild seed. And honestly, I'm just happy he's given an active role again, as he was given a big, big, big disservice. I really wanted to see what type of war chief he was going to be, and we were denied that. But now we've got another chance with him, this time as an all-powerful god. But what do you guys think? Do you think Vol'jin will be the new Loa of Kings? Do you think he might come back into the Horde's leadership? Let me know in the comments down below. I love hearing your guys' thoughts on this. If you're interested in any of the stuff I do, you can find me over on Twitter, Twitch, and all that jazz that's down below. Also, if you like these videos, you can support me on Patreon like these amazing folks here. But until next time, my friends...